dito naman ako para sa tanumbo sagot ko. Ang information ng video na to is from Google Search and YouTube Policy. Video na to is continuation kahapon about uh, spam uh, deceptive practices and scam policy. So, talakayan natin ngayon ang video that, that is not allowed in YouTube or uh, don't post content uh, na mga ganito. So, i-enumerate ko isa-isa kung ano-ano ang mga yun. So, hindi ko na i-explain more kasi medyo mahaba siya. So, for more information, um, type, uh, i-search nyo lang sa Google. Yeah. So, do not post this content if uh, your video fits of any of the description. So, yun. Um, number one, presidential election integrity. So, yeah, number one. So, content that advance false claim that widespread fraud, uh, error, or glitch uh, change the outcome of, of any U.S. presidential election. So, yun. Note this applies to elections in the United States only. Uh, yeah. For the U.S. 2020 presidential election, this applies to content uh, uploaded on or after December 9, 2020. So, yun ang number one. Video spam. Number two. Content that excessively posted repetitive or untargeted and does not, does one or more. Uh, of the following um, promises viewers they will see something but instead direct uh, them to off-site uh, get click views or traffic of YouTube by promising viewers that they will make fast money and send audience to site that spread malware try to gather personal information or other site that have negative impact. So, yung maglagay ng video tapos may mga link sa below tapos hindi pala yun. Yung link na yun, iba pala. So, yun. Ito yun ang meaning ng video spam. Number three, misleading metadata or thumbnail. So, using the title, thumbnail, description, or tag to trick users into believing that the content is something it is not so yun yung mga um, clickbait yeah hindi pala iba pala yung nasa loob ng um, video so yun ay um, bawal sa policy number four manipulated media Content that has been uh, technically manipulated or doctored in a way that mislead user. VN clips taken out of context and may pose a serious risk of egregious harm. So, yun yung inedit na iba na ang ano. Iba na ang, ang dishonest na hindi na siya um, yung totoo. Ayan. Bawal din Five. yung scam. Content offering cash gift, get rich quick scheme, or pyramid scheme. Sending money without a tangible product in a pyramid structure. Ayan, mga pyramid daw. Mga bawal yan. Number six is voter suppression. Content aiming to mislead voters about the time, place, means, or eligibility requirements for voting or false claim that could materially discourage voting. Number seven, suppression of census participant 
content aiming to mislead participants about time, means, or eligibility requirements for participating in a census. Number eight, candidate eligibility. Content that advance false claim related to technical eligibility requirements for current political candidates and seating elected government official to serve in office. Eligibility requirements considers based on applicable national law and includes age, citizenship, or vital status. So, about to siguro sa America na candidacy. Ayan, kaya nilagay dito. Number nine, incitement uh, to interfere with democratic process. Content encouraging others to interfere with democratic processes such as obstructing or interrupting voting procedure. Number 10, distribution of hack materials. Content that contains hack information, the disclosure of which may interfere with democratic process, uh, processes such as election and Censuses. Number 11. Incentivation spam. Content that sales engagement metrics such as views, likes, comments, or any other metrics on YouTube. This is also include content which only purpose to both subscriber, viewers, or other metrics. Offering uh, to subscribe to another creator channels solely in exchange for them subscri subscribing to your channels, uh, also known as sub to sub. Ayan, ito talaga yung um, warning. So, bawal talaga ang talagang itong incentivation spam kasi um, normally. May mga taong gumawa dito. At saka, hindi lang kayo. Medyo, at ano din. Um, hindi ko lang masabi dito kasi pawal. Pero, parang, nagawa naman natin to. Pero, um, basta hindi ko masabi. <laughs> basta take note lang tayo dito. Number 12. Content spam. Comments where the sole purpose is to gather personal information from viewers misleading drive viewers of YouTube or perform any of the prohibited behavior noted above. Ayan. So, ingat, ingat na lang sa mga comments para hindi mas pam. Number 13, repetitive comments leaving large amount of identical untargeted or repetitive repetitive comment so yung pabalik-balik na na comment ay ayaw na yan kaya nak nasa spam kasi parehas parehas ang comment kaya um siguro minsan um uh, na spam tayo dahil ganun so ingat ingat lang 14 is live stream abuse Ayan, ingat-ingat sa mga nalala live stream dyan. Sabi dito, live stream intended to stream content that belongs to somebody else or are not corrected following repetitive warnings of possible abuse. Live stream should be actively monitored by the channel owners and any potential issue should be corrected in a timely manner so ayan um bawal pala mag live stream ang iba 
So, kung mag-stream year kayo, dapat nandoon kayo. Kasi minsan, ano, um, hindi pala pwede. So, ingat lang. This policy is applies to videos, video description, comment, live stream, and any other YouTube products or feature. Um, keep in mind that this is sent uh, completely. So, marami pa iba dito. So, ano na lang. Um, ingat lang. Yun lang ang talagang reminders ko. Dito, sabi ng nakanote dito ni YouTube, uh, you're allowed to encourage viewers to subscribe, hit the like button, share, or leave a comment. So, pwede yung diba, yung ginagawa natin na after sa video, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell of notification. Pwede yan. Pero hindi yung ibang paraan. Yun. Mahaba yung video. So, um, may uh, video ako next. So, continuation dito. So, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell notification. Maraming salamat sa pagpanood ninyo. At sana ay may nakuha kayo doon sa mga uh, policy na yun. See you then.